Well, hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home, and today in this video, I want to share with you some thoughts and plans and ideas that I have for the upcoming Christmas holiday. Well, hey guys, welcome to my channel. We love to talk about all things heart and home here. Today, we are going to chitty chat a little bit about Christmas. It's coming, and it's coming fast, and it's inevitable, and I'm so excited about it. I love everything about Christmas. I love celebrating the fact that our Savior was born. I love being with my children. I love creating a magical and beautiful holiday. I love every single thing about it. I came from a line of women who put on amazing holidays. My grandma and my mom, I mean, they were like primo. And now that I'm a mom, I want to recreate that for my own children. Last year, I sort of fell apart when it came to Christmas. Um, I was a bit of a loon, I like to call myself. Um, Christmas, like, it was wonderful, and the season itself was great, but I just, I think I was anticipating and expecting a lot and it just, I don't know, everything that I did kind of just fell apart. Everything. I talked about it on Instagram last year about all my best laid plans. All of these plans that I put together just fell apart completely. I think there were a lot of factors that kind of went into that, but I think one of the main ones is that I didn't plan early enough. And so I was left playing a lot of catch up. I just determined that this year was going to be different. First of all, I'm going to put all of my tendencies towards perfectionism aside. I have been working on that the past few months. I am a perfectionist by nature. I love to perfect things and just make it as good as it can be, but that's just not realistic, and I'm learning that. And so my hope is to put that perfectionism aside. Secondly, I am wanting to do things more simply. Now, the problem for me is when I hear, when people say, I'm going to be more simple about something, to me, for me, it takes away a lot of the excitement and a lot of um, the splendor and the beauty and the excess. And I know excess can be like a really bad thing, but I like having several different types of cookies and I like having beautifully wrapped packages and I love to decorate my entire home. I love to do that kind of thing. And so for me, sometimes simple can lend a negative connotation only because I like the stuff um, and I like the process of doing it. Um, and But in all of that, I'm reminding myself that simple is good and that I can still do five types of cookies and a few types of treats and I can still make some homemade gifts and I can still do the different things, decorate my whole home, but I can do it with a different spirit. And it doesn't have to be in a spirit of perfectionism. It can be not as perfect as I picture in my mind. And thirdly, I am starting early. I know I know this video is coming to you at the beginning of November, but friends, I have been planning since last month. Um, eventually, I hope to be the type of planner who's planning all year, um, but I felt like October was a good jump start. I'm also walking through the Fly Ladies holiday mission. So I hope to talk to you more about my journey with Fly Lady and how she's really just helping me to um, change a whole lot of things in my world and implement really solid, good routines and habits. Um, but in the meantime, she does this thing where she basically talks about how you're going on a cruise for the holidays. And basically, you are going to have all of your holiday preparations in place by either Black Friday or December 1st. And then when December comes, you're just cruising through the holidays, enjoying the season. And that was my problem last year, a big part of my problem, is I waited until, you know, December to really start doing a lot of things, and I felt a lot of the hustle and bustle and the ugh, overwhelm because it was coming at me on all sides, and I just didn't feel prepared. 
So what I've done is I've actually went ahead and I've downloaded um, this thing called a, a control journal that the fly lady has and it's basically a few articles and a bunch of lists that help you go through the holidays and be prepared ahead of time. I've also created my own Christmas planner and it's a really extensive thing. I'll leave a link for that up in the iCard and down uh, in the description box as well. So you can check it out. Um, it's totally free for you to download. It's um, a whole bunch of printables that I made that is going to help me stay on track this season and hopefully if you choose to download it as well, it will help you as well. One area that we are choosing to simplify this year is in the area of gifts. So my kids don't get a lot of stuff over the course of a year. Um, I'm not somebody who gives my kiddos like a ton of gifts. They don't get a ton of gifts from people. We don't go to the store and they automatically get something. Um, they just don't. And their birthdays are both right at Christmas. My daughter's birthday is five days before Christmas. My son's is two weeks after. So come Christmas time, they're getting a lot of stuff, but the rest of the year, they're not. Um, but throughout the course of last year, I really felt we were drowning in kids' stuff. Drowning. And you have to understand, my house is really small. We don't have a playroom. So what the kids have has to go in their tiny little bedrooms. And even though we had that in place, we had so much stuff, it was overwhelming. We couldn't even keep up with all of the little parts and pieces and the this and the that. It was just so much and so, as part of the Fly Lady uh, system, the holiday control thing, I have went through both kids' bedrooms and um, drastically reduced the toys. Out of my son's room, we pulled out an entire garbage bag's worth, and then a few actually like garb um, uh, sacks. What do you call them? The grocery sacks. Grocery sacks full of broken things and books that are like falling apart. And we did the same thing in my daughter's room, and we pulled out an entire garbage bag full of things that we were donating, another garbage bag full of garbage, and some like decor stuff that we're getting rid of, and we simplified completely. To help that stay that way, I'm doing gift giving differently. In years prior, I was always the person who, if I bought my child three books, I wrapped them all individually so it seemed like they had more. I got them inexpensive things so I could get them more. Um, we didn't necessarily subscribe to the idea of having like huge expensive gifts. My kids are very little so it just didn't, we just didn't do that. Um, but in all of that, I really just, it just, I mean this past year was just too much excess. So. This year we are going to do things a bit differently. We're going to do a bit of a twist on that, um, that saying the want, something you want, something you wear, something you need, something to read. We're doing a bit of a twist on that to fit our family. And this is how we're going to do it. So they are going to get something that they want because I want to give my kids good gifts. Things that they love and, you know, spark joy in their little hearts. I want to give them something that they want. We're going to skip the whole something they need thing because quite frankly there's not anything that they need and if they really needed something we would likely get it before Christmas. My son needs dress shoes. He's going to get them before Christmas because he needs to wear them to Christmas events. It's the only thing the kiddo needs. Um, so we're going to just skip the whole need thing. So it's going to be something they want something to read, um, and that's kind of self-explanatory, um, something to wear. So my hope is to do something kind of different, not so much um, like a shirt or a pair of pants, maybe, but I would really like to get them something neat. Uh, my friend Christy um, used to have an Etsy shop, and I saw some things that she used to create, and they're so cute. Uh, my daughter loves baseball hats, and she wears like an old baseball hat of mine. It's way too big on her sweet little head, and I would love, and Christy's baseball hats um, had like a fabric monogram, and it would be like the child's name and like this heart, and they were so cute. Um, her shop is not open, or I was like, ah, I'd so buy that. Um, so I'm kind of looking for something like that, something unique, not so much like a shirt that I could buy at the children's place, but that might happen. Who knows? Something to wear. 
Um, and then we're going to do a handmade gift. Last year I made my kiddos those like fleece blankets that you tie and they love them, they sleep with them every night and I loved making that for them. I'm kind of, I love to be crafty um, and so my hope is to have a handmade gift from me to them. My kiddos also believe wholeheartedly in Santa. I never <laughs> instilled that in them by any way, shape or form. It was just something my daughter picked up and she loves Santa. I mean, she her ho she wanted to be Santa Claus for um, Halloween. Uh, we couldn't quite find a, an outfit that would work for her, so she ended up being a variation between Mrs. Christmas and Mrs. Claus, and she just was the happiest little nut. So she sleeps in a Santa hat. <laughs> she calls it her nightcap all winter long, and sometimes even in the summer. She just loves Santa. So we will have a gift for my kiddos from Santa. Um, and then I would also like to do a gift from Jesus. So we believe that Jesus is the reason for this season and we want to honor him with Christmas um, in, a, in all that we do at Christmas and beyond, of course. Um, and so my hope is to have a gift from Jesus and that would be something that would benefit their spiritual life. So um, I have a Bible for my daughter that I might give her, or we might do like an adventure and odyssey series, or maybe a subscription to um, a focus on the family, like kids magazine, something, but it would be from Jesus. And then lastly, we are going to do a gift where each of my kiddos buy each other a gift. So um, we will take them out individually and they get to buy their sibling a gift. So that's a lot of gifts. I mean, that's a lot of stuff. Um, and I think I might do the option of just maybe, I don't know, having one more gift. That's just, that's a lot of stuff, even as it is. But um, they do have birthdays, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, it's a cut down list from what we've done in years past. Um, and at this point, I know about 80% of what we are going to be doing them with, for them for Christmas. A lot of stuff I'm buying on Amazon. Um, I am just trying to make things as simple as possible. I am trying to do as much as I can on the front side of Christmas so that when December 1st hits, I really am just relaxing and enjoying the season. Um, we have got like their clothes for, we have a Christmas gala at our church and a Christmas party for my husband's work and perhaps a Christmas party for my mother-in-law's work and just, you know, different events. We've got their outfits together now um, so that we're not scrambling and making a mad dash rush at the last minute. I've been there before. I have been there <laughs> before and it's awful. Um, and you don't intend to put things off until the last minute, but life happens. And so this year I'm being intentional about getting my preparations done ahead of time and doing it with a joyful spirit because I love to do this stuff. I love it and I want it to be fun. I don't want it to be stressful and I don't want to stress my family out. I just, I, I don't want that. <laughs> Been there, done that, wore the hat, bought the book, put on the costume and never want to do that again. Ever. Ever. So I'm doing it differently and those are a few things that I am doing differently. And some of you have walked this road before and you're saying, yeah, of course, why would you stay up till three in the morning? Why would you leave your gifts to the last minute? I know, now I know. Now that I'm sitting on the other side of that bomb, I realize what I should and shouldn't be doing. But that perfectionist spirit in me just made things nutty. And so we're doing it different. Um, I am prepared and I'm planning, and that's my encouragement to you, is to plan and prepare now, get ready now, don't leave anything for December, or at least very minimal. Enjoy the December season, the entire month. Use that month to go to the events that you have scheduled, but knowing that you're going fully in like cool mode because your outfit's already ready to go. You had already thought of that white elephant gift. You had already bought the ingredients for your cookie swap exchange and you don't need to run to the grocery store when it's crazy town. You have been stocking your pantry with all of the things that you will need. Maybe not the fresh stuff, but all of the things that you're going to need for your holiday dinners, for your, you know, cookie exchanges, and this and that and the next thing. You've got it under control. So, 
in the description box, I'm going to leave a link to my Christmas planner. Print it out. May it be a blessing to you. Secondly, I'm also going to leave a link to the Fly Lady and her holiday missions. Every single day, it's a small step. Well, I should say Monday through Friday, it's a small step to take towards your home and your life being prepared for the holidays. They're easy, simple things, but it's just the process of sitting down and mapping out your plan and then doing that plan. Little by little, baby steps add up. And that's what I've been learning this year, to take those small baby steps and they will get you places. So that is it for this video. I would love if in the description, in the description box, in the comments, if you would leave some of your tips for the holidays. I would love to hear them. And I love that the comment section is often just a really great place of ideas and of sharing. Um, so leave your thoughts down below. I would love to hear about them and how you are making the holidays great this year. So anyways, I will see you in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.